OpenAI just unveiled its first AI browser and everyone is talking about it. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and ChatGPT Atlas is OpenAI's first AI browser which can do all the tasks on your behalf. In this video, I'll show you how ChatGPT Atlas works, how to download it, how to use it, all the crazy things you can do with it. And at the very end, I want to ask you in the comments, do you think ChatGPT Atlas is enough for you to switch from Google Chrome? And do you think ChatGPT Atlas will take over Google Chrome? Let me know below and let's have a look at ChatGPT Atlas. All right, so this right here is ChatGPT Atlas. You can download it for free, install it on your Mac, and this is what it looks like when you do. You will sign in to your own OpenAI ChatGPT account, and this is what you will see. I just love how minimal the entire interface looks. If you hover over the OpenAI logo, it will start rotating like so. But let's actually look at what can you do with it. So the first thing is the similar familiar chat GPT interface that you've seen everywhere, right? You can ask any question to it. Um, how many hours in strawberry? Let's try that out. And it's going to reply to you just like a normal chat GPT prompt. Right? So it's going to say the word has three R's, which is actually correct. This is the regular mode that you've already used ChatGPT for. But then you also have the search mode in which it will search the internet for it and give you all the related links to go on. Then it also has an image search. So you can go and look at all the related images for this that you can see. Then you also have videos. So just like you have a normal Google search, you can do all of that over here as well. You've tried this on Google as well, but what makes Chat GPT Atlas special is this sidebar that I can open up called Ask Chat GPT. And I can be on any web page and I can ask it to do anything from over here. I can ask it to summarize this page, for example. And it's going to look at this entire page, which is a blog by Sam Altman, and give me the highlights of it that we have right here. What else can it do? Well, I can go on to agent mode. This is a new functionality in chat GPT Atlas, which enables it to do tasks on your behalf. In this case, we have asked chat GPT Atlas to go on to sky scanner and find the best business class flights. And it's now going to open up a new tab, open sky scanner on my behalf and do the things that I've asked it to do. So I've given it all the things that I wanted to search for, which is I need the cheapest business class flight, one stop max, a trip should not be more than 10 days from Bengaluru to San Francisco. So it's gonna quickly go on to Skyscanner and find the things that I need. I can keep asking it for more stuff. I can enable agent mode and I can ask it, um, what meetings do I have this week on my Google calendar? So this is a great feature because now it's going to go onto my Google calendar it's going to check my entire schedule for this week and give me the highlights. You see, it's thinking about it. It's going to open up my Google Calendar. We can also go on to YouTube and we can ask it to do things on my behalf on this page, which could be um, show, show me the best review video of the new iPhone Air. Let's say for example, that's what I wanted to do. And it's going to now look over this web page and do things on my behalf. I will also go on to Amazon and I'll ask it, find me the best, let's say um, ANC headphones, less than 7K INR um, from a popular brand and add it to cart. Oops, all right, so we already have this Marquez video playing right here. Let me actually mute this. I can also go on to book my show and ask it, tell me a list of five fun activities I can book for this coming weekend in Bengaluru. I can do that. The best part about ChatGPT Atlas agent mode is that you can keep running multiple of these tasks at the same time. So it's finding some things to do in Bangalore. It's finding uh, ANC headphone on Amazon. It's finding the best review video for iPhone Air. It's finding what I have in my schedule for this week. 
It's also finding the cheapest tickets. It's also trying to summarize this article by Sam Altman. This is the biggest use case of any AI browser out there. I'm sure you can obviously go on to Amazon and you can type ANC headphones, you can put the price range, you can put the ratings and you can find that headphone for yourself. You can do that faster than this agent mode. But the place where it really shines is when you want to do multiple tasks at the same time. So all these things are happening at the same time. These three tabs are still running on its own without me having to do anything. How cool is that? I can keep running more and more of these things. I can go onto my Gmail, I can launch agent mode here and I can ask it, find me the recent emails less than 30 days, which are about a coupon code I can apply and save some money. Let's say that's what I want to do. And now this will scan my entire Gmail and help me find the entire coupon codes that I need. I can also try to reply to an email. Let's say I want to apply to this email and say, Hey, I don't want to come to this event. Let's say that's my email. Um, and I want to say cheers. That's it. Say I want to rewrite this email. I can just select this and I can have chat GPT rewrite this email for me. Um, this email sounds to rude. Make it nicer. Let's say for example, that's what I want. It's going to make this email look better. It found the person who sent me the email, their name, and it wrote this entire email right here. Updated the email and it's now going to write this on my behalf and I can send it as well. All right, so Skyscanner did not work out. I can always ask it, um, use Google Flights instead and it's going to use that. So that's the power of using an agentic browser. You can go on multiple different sites and ask it to perform tasks on your behalf. You can also ask it, um, what's the latest news in the world of let's say FinTech in India. Open five tabs about the news and also give me a summary. Let's say that's what I wanna do. Okay, this is actually not right. I need to enable the agent mode all the time. So I need to enable agent mode and then I ask it to perform the task on my behalf. That's the power of Atlas. Let's make it happen. It's going to find the latest news and we are already using Google flights to find the cheapest flights and we should be having the right information very soon. Now, one thing you will notice is if I go on to agent mode, I see these two options. The first one says logged in. This is where chat GPT can access all of your logged in accounts. So as you saw, it opened up my Google calendar. It opened up my Gmail. These are logged in accounts and it's going to perform actions in those accounts. I can also ask it to perform actions on logged out accounts if I want to do that. Then I have this place where I can give it access to web search. I can ask it to use a cloud browser in which it would open up a new browser in the cloud and do things over there if I want to do that. This is not just applicable for simple tasks. Like I could be here on Canva and I can ask chat GPT agent mode, create a stunning Instagram post thanking everyone and wishing them a happy Diwali. Let's say that's what I wanted to do. And now it's going to create a post on my behalf by using Canva. How cool is that? Who thought that AI would be making social media posts in 2025? How cool is that? That is the power of chat GPT Atlas. As you can see, it, it went into designs. It's looking for happy Diwali wishes templates. It's going to probably use some of that. See, it's also smart. It's not going to do it the work itself. It wants to use a template. Anyways, so we have all of this power in our hands now to do things. All right, we got all the news and we can quickly just view all these five tabs. I can open this up and I can look at the latest news in the world of fintech. 
like so. And if you thought that was it, let me show you data analysis powered by ChatGPT Atlas. Well, I could simply go on to agent mode. I have a lot of data about all of my videos and how many views it has done. Um, find me top five YouTube video ideas I should make now, which would each do at least say 150k views in let's say two to three weeks based on the data you have here. So I can ask it to give me video ideas based on the data that you already have. And it's going to analyze all of this data that it sees on the screen, on this site itself. So it's going to look at the videos which have performed really well in the past. It's going to look at that data and give me the results. I think we already found the cheapest flight right here. So this right here is the cheapest by Lufthansa. It's going to cost about $5,000 and I can proceed and book this flight if I want to do that. Wow, I am just amazed by what all ChatGPT can do. All right, this is what it came up with. I can keep giving it more feedback and ask it to do things better, but this is what you can do with this. All right, we already have an answer. After analyzing your historical performance data, this is what it came up with. It says 10 new AI tools for students and professionals, build an AI powered to-do list app in one hour. And then it gave me more ideas for what videos I should be making and working on. How cool is that? If this is not the future, I don't know what is. Like I literally have a AI browser making a social media post on my behalf on canva.com. Now, a couple of things to understand. This is only available on Mac OS right now. Windows will be coming soon, I think. Plus this agent mode is only available for the paid users. So the plus and the pro users get access to agent mode. Everyone else can use the Ask Chat GPT feature and get, on the other hand, we also have perplexity and perplexity has released something called as the Comet browser. I'm sure you would have heard of it. You would have tried it as well. And it works very similar to Chat GPT Atlas. It already is telling me what all to do. And this is on the free version of it. So I can ask it to open YouTube and find the official NASA moon landing video. Jump to the moment where Armstrong says one small step for man. And it's actually going to do this on my behalf for completely free. This is my free account on Publicity, and it works even then. So that's how Comet works, as you can see. So that's how it works. Again, you can keep asking it to do more things. You can go on to Assistant. You can ask it to summarize this video. You can ask it to give you more insights. You can ask it to do a fact check as well. So we can go over here, scroll to the next interesting moment, and it just works really well, just like that. So in this video, we looked at ChatGPT Atlas. We also looked at Comet by Perplexity. And now I want to ask you in the comment section, what app will you use to browse the web? Would you still stick to Google Chrome or would you go on to ChatGPT Atlas or do you really prefer Perplexity Comet? Let me know below in the comment section and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.